Hey guys, Sensei George here. Today, we're going over Hanbo Jutsu, the art of using the three foot staff. I'm going to show you a kata with it called Hiki Taoshi. And then I'm going to show you how we can apply it in modern day scenarios, both with a running stick, aka Hanbo, and with a tactical pin. So, the way that the technique starts off, Keen, if you would like to come out, he's going to come up and grab my lapel. I'm in a kata, a uh, kamai called Mune Muso. From here, I'm going to drop down, which allows me to slide more bow, pop him in the chin, lock it, and once he's down, I step back and I crack him in the back of the head. Okay? Now I'll show you guys that a little bit more full speed. So some of the key points behind this, uh, from that initial grab, but I'll turn a little bit more this way. I have to drop my weight. If I try to reach down to the bow, this is asking for a punch to the top of the head or for him to just pull me down and I'm going to hit myself in the neck with the bow or I'm going to fall down to the ground. Both are bad. So from here, I keep my eyes on him. I squat a little using my taijutsu, grabbing more of the bow, covering his hand. Because the cool part about this now is if he tries to let go and pull away, he's not going anywhere. And I can pop him in the neck with his momentum. So I cover, squat, strike to the throat. This is going to take him back, but I hold the hand so he's still not getting away, I begin to twist it in Ura Gyaku. This then comes over top. With the short end of the bow, I hook his elbow. This is Hiji Takubi, or Takubi Hiji with the Ura Gyaku, in which you can snap the wrist and end it right there. But we get this to get him low, down on the ground. Then I use the big end, step back, and I strike to the head. Yeah. So it's a very effective technique. Now I'm going to show you guys how this technique can actually be applied in a modern day situation. So there are a lot of people in my community, as I mentioned in uh, other videos before, that use running sticks. They're generally around the size of a hambo. And they like to uh, you know, jog with it in case someone comes up so they can hit them. Or if there was a rabbit animal, they can hit it and get away. But these techniques can be carried over today. So if I was running, generally it would be harder to strike someone in the back of the head while they're moving out of a situation. So they might try to grab you to then take something that you have or to get a hold of you in that situation. So if I'm jogging and then King comes up and grabs me, the moment I turn around, it's the same as Moon and Musou. I pop him in the chin, cover, strike, and I run away. I don't even have to stop my like movements. I feel something coming. I've trained this a little bit. I know about what's going on. I panic a little. I'm like, whoa. But I realize this is between us. And I pop him in the neck, come over, hit, and I just continue to run a little bit faster now since my heart rate's up, you know? And uh, I'm scared about what's going on. So. Now with that in mind, that's how you can use a hambo in a traditional form. Modern day running, because no one is generally going to come up and grab you with this in between you. But if you can position it and you end up in that situation, more power to you. I, I applaud you. But if we are trying to stay a little bit more practical in things that may happen, uh, you may want to train in for other positions if someone will grab you from the side or from the back. I prefer the back for this position because it allows you to turn in and strike the person. If anything, that's the one technique you should get from this. Uh, King Son, you come back out. Miles, you can move the camera around a little bit. Uh, from this grab, no matter what happens, I turn in, I poke him. I can hit him in the chest, I can hit him in the throat, I can hit him in the groin. All these techniques work. Use the short end of the bow, I can even strike into the armpit of the arm that grabbed me, and it's gonna start turning me around. So that's a very, that, that should be the lesson that you at least get out of this if you're new to this martial art and new to Hanbo Jitsu. Turn around, you short end, poke. And it'll get them to let go. Second lesson is to, again, do the wrist lock and takedown. So now that we've done hambo, let me show you how to apply this with tactical pin. So my tactical pin, I like to carry it with me in my right side pocket. And uh, I suggest that you train these techniques wherever you naturally keep your tactical pin. So in a situation I feel that something's up, I already like started cantering or grabbing a hold of my tactical pin. And the moment that this guy felt like he could manhandle me, that's when I slide my tactical pin out. Again, I have to make sure I have proper distance for the strikes. If I get it like this and I try to strike him, it's not enough. So I cover this, and I can even step into him, which might bend his arm, uppercut into the throat or chin. Then I use the glass breaker side, and I pin it, okay? Now, I don't have a huge hombo. I can't hit him in the back of the head. It's not going to do anything. So once I get him down from this angle, um, we're going to turn around so Miles can see Keen. So we get to this posture, and I come around this way. With his uh, kazoosh broken and his balance down, since I don't have the end of the hambo, I'm going to use a short end and I'm going to fly him right into his neck or mandible. So he's up this way and I strike down and I continue to get out of there. Yeah? So showing you that one more time. I'm not going to say some guy comes to grab you immediately, go for this because you're getting punched in the face and it's not going to work. Uh, reset. I already have it out a little or I started cantering it and I cover and I have my arm ready. If he did try to punch me in the face, my elbow's in line. I throat punched him and I got the arm. 
I can go for that one or stay with this technique that we've been doing already. Yeah? So that was just another variation you can do to follow that up, is that you don't have to use a tactical pin for everything. I punched them in the face, and while I was low, I still kicked them with it and be able to get it out of there. Yeah? So that is Hiki Taoshi, how to apply it with a hombo and how to apply it with a tactical pin in a modern day situation. You're watching What Would Ninjas Do? Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Domorigato gozaimashita.